Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, November 13, in 1863, Lieutenant Colonel James Prophet wrote a letter to his wife Emily back home in Wisconsin. Prophet had arrived in Natchez with the 12 Wisconsin Infantry shortly after the fall of Vicksburg. Like most Union soldiers, Prophet was charmed by Natchez describing the city as pleasant and healthy, its climate lovely. But Prophet goes on to make a poignant admission to his wife when he described the participation of U.S. colored troops in a recent skirmish. He wrote the following, a detachment of Negro troops out with a forest train was attacked yesterday by about an equal number of rebels. The Negro lost three killed and seven wounded. The rebels lost five killed, three wounded, and seven captured. The Negro beat the rest to utter fleet. It was a smart affair and the Negroes behaved splendidly. The Negroes will fight and make in every way a splendid soldier. I say this because I never thought they would. I was mistaken. The army all realized the fact and a good feeling existed toward the colored soldiers. Good conduct and bravery exhort respect and the prejudice against colored is breaking square down. James Prophet was mustered out of service as Brigadier General on July the 15th, 1865. He died in 1917 at the age of 85. Hello, my name is Demestra Winding with the Natchez National Historical Park, and this has been your Natchez History Minutes.